Well, I am super excited to be hanging out with New York Times bestselling author Steve Barry as his new book, Kaiser's Web, drops and hits stores today. And uh, my man, it's good to see you. Good to be here. So your books always have such a historical base. This one, you went back way back, and we've got these German ties. Give me a little bit of background about it. I wanted Cotton Malone, who's my recurring character, to to uh, to deal with a World War II adventure, and I came across something that happened in late 1944, something real, something that surprised me, something I think it'll surprise the reader. And so the novel was kind of born from finding this little piece of history that I knew nothing about. And Cotton heads out on this adventure that takes him to South Africa, South America, Switzerland, and it all revolves around the German national elections and uh, the search for the new chancellor of Germany. Now, people know that your books are based in facts and real history. How do you go about finding these nuggets? Are you actually searching for these? Or is it just, I was just reading some notes and, hey, that popped up. That's interesting. That's going to be what my book is focused on. That, this one kind of happened that way because I found it. But you, 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 you never find an idea if you go looking for it. It has to find you has to locate you. And then I have to hit the books. I use three to 400 books to write a novel. Almost all of them are bought there in Jacksonville at the Chamblin Book Mine uh, over on uh, Roosevelt Boulevard. That's where I go. And uh, uh, Ron Chamblin has a huge history section over there. And it's been my library now for 30 years. So you read three to 400 books per, per book that you write. I don't read three to 400 books, but I read large chunks of three to 400 books. Yes, I do. And I go through and I have uh, my notes are about this tall when I'm done, about 18 inches tall. Uh, and I'm only going to use about 20 percent of that information. Unfortunately, I don't know what 20 percent I'm going to use <laughs> until I start writing the book. How do you retain that information and how do you decide what information goes in the book? I'm pretty good about remembering what I'm writing in my notes as I'm writing along. So when I'm writing the novel, something will say, oh, I do. I have something on that in there. And I, I, I staple them together by subject matter so that it, I can find things a little quicker. I used to not do that. I learned a lesson. I needed to, to organize them. So I'm pretty good about keeping them up. Now, when the novel's over, I'm also pretty good about throwing them away and flushing them from my brain. But what about like some of the places you said Cotton's going all across the world? Do you ever visit some of the places you write about after the fact? Not after, usually before. Usually before the fact. Uh, I'm, the only thing in this novel, I did not get to go to South America or South Africa. So I had to do it the old fashioned way. You don't have to go to a place to write about it, but it sure helps if you do. But uh, most of the places I visit beforehand, it, it, there's only been a couple of instances where I've gone after the fact. Now, with all of the research and the writing, typically, or how long did it take you to write this one? It's a, the writing process is 12 months. Uh, and there's research there, too. It's six months of preliminary research before I start writing and then 12 months of actual writing and additional research. So it's an 18 month process from start to finish and they overlap one another. So I, as I'm working on the book before, I'm researching and getting ready for the next one. So you already started the next one research. Absolutely. Six months, six months before. Uh, I finished the book I'm working on. I'm already heavily into the research, outlining the first hundred pages so that when I stop the one I'm on, I can start the next novel the next day. And that's exactly what happens because I need every day of that 12 months to write the novel. When do you take a break? I, I don't. <laughs> I, don't really get a, I don't get a break. That's, it, it's straight through each time. I mean, um, it's my living. This is how I make a living. And my brain's working good. And I've got the, uh, the ideas and the energy. So I'm going to keep going uh, until it doesn't, it's not fun anymore. Well, Kaiser's Web is in stores now. If people want to find out more information about maybe some of your upcoming or some of your past books, where would they go online? steveberry.org. Everything's there about the books, me, history matters, all kinds of stuff. You got it all there. steveberry.org. Awesome. Well, support your locals, Jacksonville. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Steve. Good to be here.